Look who's back open. When I found out that Starbucks was opening again, I went straight out the door and bought one. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. As you can tell by the title, today I'm doing a home bargains haul. And it probably is the biggest ever home bargains haul I've ever done. I have seven carrier bags to get through. Make sure you are set and comfy and ready for this video. Make sure you've got your own coffee in hand, your candles lit, your cozies on, and let's just sit back, relax, and enjoy this haul together. Before I get started showing you everything that I got, I just wanted to firstly thank Starling for kindly sponsoring today's video. So if you don't know what Starling is, it is an award-winning, independent, and privately owned online bank, which I personally am a customer of. I have both a personal and a business account with them. I set up my personal account with them back in December before heading to South Africa because I knew I wanted to start using their bank because of the no transaction fees when abroad. I know they are in over 190 countries, essentially anywhere with the MasterCard. You can use your card abroad with no transaction fees. But I also recently opened up a business account with them after seeing the TV ad that they created, which is all based around the campaign of helping businesses businesses fly which I thought was great so I jumped on board and I set up a business account with Starling and it's the perfect business account to open for smaller SMEs and startup businesses or for those self-employed like me it just helps divide that personal from business these are the two differences in cards this one has written on the front business debit card so that's my personal that's my business one and I predominantly use the really user-friendly app you can also access it on your desktop which is what I tend to do when going through my expenses and breakdown for my tax returns. Starling's aim is to make banking better for everyone. It's transparent, it's fair, it's inclusive of all. There are no monthly fees. You get 24 seven customer service. And then a couple of things that I really love about using Starling is firstly, the spending analysis. You can set yourself goals to help save money. You can budget more effectively by seeing a breakdown of each and individual sort of sector and area that you spend your money on. They also do roundups as and when you're out and about shopping. It will round it up to the nearest pound and put the change away into your savings. It's also a very ethical and modern approach to banking because obviously it's paperless, there are no branches, their offices use renewable energy and it's also a great bank to give you peace of mind with the security and protection. For instance the biometric ID, you can use fingerprint and face ID analysis to enter your bank account. If you lose your card you can easily lock it and you can also block certain transaction types. And by getting real-time notifications of when money is going in or out, you can easily see if there's a transaction that you don't recognize. You can follow it up and look into it straight away. So I love using Starling. I'll leave a link to their website down below in the description box if you did want to check it out yourself. And without further ado, let's get in to the homeware haul. <sighs> I never know where to begin with these hauls. So I think I'm going to start with drinks and snacks. That's from the topic of drinks and snacks. Let me just have a little pit stop. <sighs> Delicious. If you haven't tried these, you must. They had them on offer in Home Bargains at £1.99. These are usually three to five pounds. So when I saw these on offer, grabbed them. I like to just pop these in our glass bowl in our lounge for like guests, if you know what I mean. Okay, I picked up these because again, if you've never tried them, I would highly recommend you do. They're a perfect kind of afternoon spritz if you wanna zhuzh them up with some maybe crushed ice and mint leaves and I don't know, gin as well. So these are the Limonata San Pellegrinos. These were 2 dollars but they did also have someone offer it just a pound. The ones sort of not in the box were the ones that were on offer. And this one is in sparkling orange and blood orange. This one has black tea and Italian lemon juice in it. And then lastly, I've got this one, which is lemon and mint infusion. So I'm really excited to try these ones out. I've never actually tasted any of these. I've just tried the lemon ones in the past. So yay. If you saw my Zara haul last week, I did a lot of shopping on Zara home in particular, and I bought a brand new super king duvet for our king size bed just to give us that extra 
duvet allowance. So in order to start using that duvet, I needed to buy some more bedding. So I picked up two sets actually. I got this waffle one, $24.99 this one was, and you get the standard duvet plus two pillowcases. And then I also got this one, which was only $14.99. I actually prefer this one. This has a subtle stripe kind of pattern on it. I just think this one looks really, really nice. So again, this one has the duvet and two pillowcases. So yeah, we have some new bedding, finally. Okay, next up is a really boring one, so I'm just gonna brush past it, kitchen roll. Okay, let's move on to what I like to call the hinge section. All these sort of cleaning items that I got. Tom, no fray shark in this household. Bye. Right, he's stopped rustling in the background now. I can carry on filming. So I wanted to pick up some new microfiber cloths and I got two sets of this five pack, 99p each. And then for £1.29, I picked up some bathmatics. I don't think I've ever had bathmatics. I've used the dishmatic ones. It's a shame bathmatic ones don't come with a handle as well, because that'd be really handy. The next item I got was this Febreze fabric refresher. I like to get the Lenore lavender scent, and I use this upstairs in our bedroom every single morning. After I've made the bed, I like to just spritz it down, and sometimes even throughout the day, I'll just give it a spritz as well. We also have open wardrobe, so it's nice to just give your clothes a bit of a refreshing scent, and I like to use lavender in the bedroom, so I go through this quite quickly. So $1.99, stocked up on another. Whenever I hold a spray bottle now, all I think about is that TikTok. I actually did one with my Zaflora, where it's like poof, do you know what I mean? <laughs> this is the next item, moving on swiftly. I also got this eight pack of yellow dusters. I always remember my mum using these. We had a cleaning day that I would help out and I always remember using these to dust down before polishing. And speaking of polishing, again, it's like quite a nostalgic scent for me. The smell brings me back to my childhood. Anyway, this one is in Spring Fresh. You can use it on wood, glass, metal, plastic, just an all rounder multi-surface polish. This was just one pound, and these were 79p. <sighs> A couple more spray bottles for you. These are the Flash Bathroom Cleaner, one that I've actually never used, and one that Mrs. Hinch loves, so I'm gonna try it out myself. The bathroom cleaner was actually only 99p, and then this one was 1.99, I think because it's newer. It's the multi-purpose with bicarb of soda, and again, I've not tried this one. I tried the lavender one, the French lavender, I think it's called, and it's nice, but it wasn't like a game changer, the scent. So I've heard this one smells really, really fresh, and after you've used it, you know you get that really clean smelling house, so, this was the next on my list of flash to purchase and I'm happy I did. <laughs> next on my list of things I needed to purchase, dishwasher tablets and I've seen these in home bargains. They came out sort of, I think, autumn time last year in spiced apple limited edition but I've seen them in there ever since so I really want to try these. Sounds like I want to try them. No. These were $4.99 for 36 tablets. So that's everything for cleaning. Now moving on, I picked up some stationary type bits, some packaging, which I always like to stock up on, especially if they ever have anything new in. So this just has a little something just for you tab. It's 69p, a little gift bag with gold and white and pink little polka dots. I also got this paper to go with it, 79p. You get a couple of tags in there as well. And then I picked up two gift cards at 29p. This one says just to say. It's a nice little generic card. And then this one says a new home, 69p. I just think that is so such a cute card. I will add that to my card box, which I like to keep and just stockpile a load of cards for as and when I need them. Let's move on to beauty now. I did pick up a couple of beauty items. The first thing I got were these cotton wool balls for 59p. You get a bag full of them. I tend to use these to remove any like nail polish. And I also have a glass container in our bathroom, which I wanted to get some of these to put in. Um, I have another glass one next to it with white cotton buds. So I wanted the cotton balls to go in the other one. So that is why I picked up them. Not that I have to justify why I make a purchase, but 
in my head. That is something that I always do. The weather has been lovely recently, well up and down, but overall the weather has been quite nice so I wanted to buy some suntan lotion as and when we maybe sit out. Now we're allowed to sit out in parks and things. Uh, 15 SPF this one is, so it's just a medium one. And it's the Piz Buin, and it is $4.99. And to give me a kick start with the tan, I got this. Samaritz Instant Tanning Mousse in Dark. This is an XL pack for $3.99. If you saw my beauty clear out, you're probably thinking, why on earth do you need to purchase a tan? Because I had so many that I filtered through. And to be quite honest with you, it's because this is a good go-to instant one. I have some nice gradual tans or tans that you put on and they like develop over several hours. But this is great because it gives you that instant colour. So if ever I feel like I'm, I'm heading out and about and I need a tan right then and there, this is always the one that I tend to use. Something I've been suffering with recently is hay fever. I, I'm not like a really bad sufferer with loads of heavy symptoms when the seasons change and hay fever comes about but I have noticed that my eyes have been getting a little bit itchy maybe because I've been out on more walks as well so I picked up this one from Maureen for itchy eyes this one is for natural relief for allergies simply spray onto your closed eyes especially if you don't like eye drops this would be really handy I do have eye drops but you can't put them in when you've got contact lenses in so I wear contact lenses all day every day so anyway I picked this up for 99 if anyone else out there is suffering from hay fever let me know. The last beauty item that I picked up was this from Tony and Guy. It's a Golden Glow Illuminating Hair Perfume. They did have a silver version as well. I don't know. I'll try this out. I really like using hair perfumes. I have a one from Byredo and one from Thamine, but they're both quite high end. So I wanted a more drugstore affordable one to try out, like on a more of an everyday basis. And I guess you just sort of spritz it in the ends. I kind of avoid putting it in the roots to avoid my hair getting greasier quicker. And yeah, I'll let you guys know if I particularly enjoy this and get on with it over on Instagram probably. Once I try that out. Okay, moving on. We just have a couple of miscellaneous kitchen and homeware items to show you now. The first one being this water bottle. I did have a water bottle, but I've broken the lid like a straw plastic one and what I liked about this one is it, it has timings on it to kind of remind you to drink throughout the day an easy one to sort of take out and about on our walks so yeah and this is £2.49 I think I've shown these in the past but these are £2.29 and they are these watertight airtight containers with the little white lid I think they have them with grey lids as well but I obviously opt for the white I've got this for um, a big bag of ugly looking porridge oats that are sat on our counter at the minute because it can't fit in our food cupboard so I'm going to pop it in this get my Dymo label printer out I'm sure I'll document it over on my Instagram homeware account because I love that kind of thing I'll probably do like a before and after of our kitchen cupboard clear out because we definitely need a food clear out clean kitchen cupboard clean makeover type situation i might even end up picking up more of those if i feel like i need them i picked up some new oven gloves and kitchen towels i wanted the black and white look because previously we had um cream kind of colored oven gloves that got trashed no matter how much i wash them they've just lost their shape i'm gonna have to throw it out and i swore to myself that i would never get the light colored pair again so i've gone for black this time much more practical and to go alongside it a black kitchen towel like so i have this one in the beige they do like a brownie beige kind of color which i love but i just thought the black would go quite nicely with that the oven gloves were 3.99 and these were one pound 79 each. I spotted these photo frames and I thought they looked really nice. Much more expensive than what they actually were. I got the two different sizes. The smaller one here was £2.99 and the larger one was £3.49. And I might just do a recce around our house and look at all the photo frames that I currently have and maybe switch them out for ones more like this. I have some that are just a bit cheap looking, they've kind of scratched or chipped on the edges and ones that I feel like I just need replacing, then I'll use these. Having photo frames just makes a house more homely. And also, if like me, you're not really a fan of bright colors or anything like that around the house, then I like to just print out, in fact, I'm gonna do some more. I'm talking myself into it 
print out some of your favorite pictures but in black and white so you've still got that memory there but it goes with the decor you know okay next up i got this four piece fireside companion set I did not know that that's what you call these, a companion set. It was $7.99 for the set, and I really like the fact that it's all matching matte black. To go right here, by my fireplace, we have like an old mismatched ones that just don't look that great, to be completely honest with you. Um, so I wanted to just switch them out for a matching set. I've treated myself, I felt like a little pick a mix station, to some new wax melts from Yankee Candle. These were 89p each. Got a little stack of them here, so I'm just gonna read out the scents, which, brace yourselves, these sound amazing. So we got Belgian Waffles, Autumn in the Park, Farmer's Market, Sun and Sand, which I feel like would be very appropriate for this time of the year, and Winter Wonderland. So definitely a couple of autumnal winter kind of scents in there. It's quite a nice way to test out Yankee Candle scents to make sure you like them by doing it in wax melt form before you buy the big candle. 89 peach bargain. Okay, the last and final items that I picked up are these for the kitchen slash garden, and they are these herb growing sets. I picked up three of them and they come in different shapes and sizes which is a little bit annoying because I'd have liked them to all be uniform but anyway this is what they look like this one is basil we have this one which is parsley they're quite heavy these and then lastly this one which is thyme and on the back they've got all the growing instructions and I just think these are great they're $3.99 each very affordable to get the whole set and have a little section dedicated to growing your own herbs maybe a fun activity to do with your kids as well actually so there we have it that is everything that I picked up on this trip to home bargains I hope you enjoyed this haul and do give me a thumbs up to let me know if you want any more home bargains hauls like this and subscribe for more in the future thank you once again to Starling for kindly sponsoring this video and just a friendly reminder if you did want to check them out I will leave a link in the description box thank you for watching and I hope to see you all again in my next video bye guys